Welcome back everybody to the next episode of Final Fantasy XIV. So we were in Gridania last time. Well, now we're in the Waking Sands. Would you like to go through wait screens? Didn't think so. You're welcome. By the way, I like what you did with your hair. It looks, honestly, it looks really good. You know, congratulate yourself. And, you know, swoosh your hand across your head right now. It looks good. Make it hit the like button, whatever, you know. But let's, let's continue with the main story because I've looked up the Dragoon bits. We have to get to a certain point in the main story, which I think we're close to. Um, oh god, that's a lady? Yep, that's a lady. Holy shit. So yeah, a certain point in the party, game, story, whatever, before we can do that. And I think we're close. Also, hi, Baba Yaga. Your dindins is in your room. Go ahead, go in there. No, that's your sister's bowl. Welcome back, Soul Chris. Lady Mephilia waits you within. I like it. Serpent seals. Kill off. Hope Mephilia has dialogue with their voice. Damn it. Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. How do I how do I know why the recruitment officer called to regale me with the tale of your heroics? The pride in his voice was palpable. We scions are truly fortunate to have you with us, Soul Chris. Damn right you are. Now, when we last spoke, I said I wanted you to meet some friends, did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you have already met. Tataru, please show them in. Is it my dad? No, it's someone tall. This way, sirs. <gasps> Pigs and Witch? Yay! Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. And I'm... I'm... God's man, spit it out, will you? Well, Wedge, at your service. No. I'm pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Okay, cool. Magitech-driven contraptions such as airships grow ever more vital to the city-states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it is judged that we science should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, it is we that needed our knowledge of experts, and so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the science, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. God, they must be just so strong. Look how big they are. Every, Like every soul here, I love Eorzea, and I count myself blessed to be given the chance to stand with you, and all, stand with you all and fight for the future of the realm. Never had I known such fulfillment, such happiness. God, she's hot. Sorry, she just is. Like, they did a good job design. Ooh, level! lump -a -dum. Like, she's just a good design. A very attractive design. Sylph management. Is that the one I need to do? I don't think... I think we have to get a little farther than that. Think. No. Having said design the formalities, we have a favor to ask of you. That's a sweet spear. Have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. Mm -hmm. Papalimo, Ida. A synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior of the sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. They're not beasts, they're wonderful. Oh, how to describe them. They look like Gissel Greens. Gissel? Ones that worship the primal Ramu. That was Geisel. Ahem. <clears throat> Though technically a beast tribe, Sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. I love them. I love how they talk. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the primal has passed. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. Fair. In that regard, they are hardly alone. 
What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. Garuda! Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. I believe it. In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. I will be so Words nice to them. actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the Echo. Winning the Sylphs' favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the Primals. Will you help us? I mean, yeah. I just need some new I pants. I am grateful. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Us, Ida. Us! I'm glad he said that. That's nice. I love their partnership. And I love his staff. It like looks like Ifrit's head. It's super cool. Also, we hit 31, so we can now actually use the spear gifted us from the final uh, uh, task. So, get to a spot where we can see it. So it is, oh my goodness. So it's three stronger, but also seven di direct hit, one more strength, two more vitality. Whew. Well, let's equip it. Ooh, and it's, it's a, okay, we've had this design before, but I like that design quite a bit. So, speak with someone at Adder's Nest. Okay, so, um, that's Bidania, isn't it? Yeah, alright, uh, we'll just return there, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, back in, ooh, what is, what is this? What do you want to give me? Rodanine Horizons. Oh, they haven't quite la launched in yet. Um, so whilst we're here, I do want to kind of just help. Oh, it's a big difference. Like, I'm tired of looking so goofy. Uh, Final Fantasy, you've got to work on your service, guys. Like, it's sad that WoW's got you beat. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Oh, you're pretty. I was looking at you. This very much reminds me of um, I forget her name, but the the leading female in, well, the kind of love interest, the, the what have you, in um, what's it called? Final Fantasy 15. You know, Noctis's to be wife. <gasps> Ooh, Quartermaster. Can I get some new pants? Armor. Um, beat, but, but. Why? Why don't you sell pants? Why don't you sell pants? S seriously, why don't they sell pants? Why are we down here? What is this? Why can't I get these? I'm able to complete transaction in sufficient rank. Well, how do I become a higher rank? Um, apply for promotion. Represent rank for death third class in order to promote servants that you fulfill the requirements. Um, cool, do it. So you just spend seals, I guess. Can I get a new thing? No. What's all this? Any new... Oh, I can get a new ring. A sash. Good magic protection. Uh, no new pants, though, but I might buy this ring. Um. Mm, nah, we're good for now. What do I need for the next rank, I should see? Oh, I need quite a bit. But let's turn this in. Uh, we know so little of the Sills to lay on any worthwhile plans. We must call upon the sign once more as we do to... Oh, beg pardon, it's a terrible habit of mine to think aloud, but tell me, what brings you to the adder's nest? I am a scion. 
Oh, you're playing cars. The Tetra Master? <gasps> it is. I think. Um. We come in peace. Commander uh, Vorsel Hulaga has awaited the aid of the Scions. Cool beans. Well, if it isn't a Private Ruther reporting for duty, that's the zeal I'd like to see from the en enterprising young serpent. Morning, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but other business brings us here today. Ida and Papalimo, always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men tell me the quest named the Scions of Late. You quest in the name of the Scions of Late? Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that Tornada is in need of our adventuring prowess. I'm right here. Ah, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the Sylphs, that curious beast, tra beast tribe that calls the depths of the Twelve Wood home. The Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceful bunch, peaceable bunch, uh, much to the delight of the Elder Seeds here, who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The Twin Adder is of the same mind, and it is precisely for the reason that the Sylph re relation to the problem of Ramu has raised a flag of warning amongst our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be- Hey, don't be racist! Should there be ever a sliver of chance that there's somebody in the primal might disturb the balance between Gerdrani and the Sylphic tribe, it is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better to be safe than sorry indeed. Do we strike a Ramu or leave the Sylphs to their own ways? That is the question, yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions about the Gridania, but to listen only to one's own among the greatest mistake a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the Sylphs themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. That is where the signs come in. I like that approach. The Sylph of Little Solstice remain untempered and have many of the productive dialogue with the people. I would hear their candid thoughts on the tempered brethren. Oh right, there's evil fae, kind of. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Sylphic tradition and etiquette bear little resemblance to our own. It would not do that you have any cross-cultural faux pas get in the way of any productive parlay. En route to Little Solstice, you will come upon the Hawthorne Hut. Our officer station has, can enlighten you on how to win the Sylph's favor. May your expedition be a worthwhile one. It's a good thing I've been there. I can port there. A friendly palaver with the Sylphs. This is uh, going to be a pleasant enough diversion. The, the Hawthorne Hut, was it? Why, I believe the very departure from West Shore Piers could take us straight there. Or I can just port there. A friendly pal uh, palaver, indeed. I hope this is the be the straightforward as you say, Papliamo. Sorry that I've mispronounced some words. I've never heard Popliver, whatever it was, palaver. I've never heard that word before. I still haven't heard it, because I've now only read it. Haha, <laughs> it sucks. But yes, I will see you at Hawthorne Hut. Uh, Kaplowy. I'll tell you this, folks. It always pays to pay attention to what they say. You actually have to go to Matei at the West Shore Pier. So I already teleported to um, the other place. But I'm glad I had to come back, because I think we've... I think that self-management was actually what we had to do because do I see something to distract us from the main quest? Eye of the Dragon. Ewain seeks your aid, assisting an old friend. I dare say you might be just the right man for the job. The guild has urgent need of a capable lancer for a mission beyond our nation's borders. Hear me out, if you will. I've received word from the East Guardian friend the effect that he requires our aid. I would have you go to provide that aid. As you may already know, due to the ongoing conflict with the dragons, the Ishgard have um, uh, kept her gates closed to outsiders for some time. The occasional dragoon on patrol duty is about all the folk see these days. In spite of her self-imposed isolation, however, the Holy See, the Holy See, has never failed to honor her obligations of, of her allies. And it is only fitting that the answer to call lend the assistance we can. To this end, we offer to dispatch a contingent of wood whalers with all haste, but we're politely informed that they would not be welcome, much to our initial confusion. It was later explained that we are dealing with a matter of some sensitivity, thus handled by individuals who are capable and trustworthy, yet unbound by allegiance, and who fit the description, save adventurers? Uh, secrecy being paramount, I can provide no details as to the nature of the task, as you need know you will be revealed to the rendezvous point. Should you accept the mission, take yourself to the Observatorium. A knight by the name of Sir Alberic will receive you upon arrival. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if, if, I, if this is not a good reason to sidetrack, then I don't know what is. 
This is to get our Dragoon. So I need to go to Corthus, which is... Hmm. Oh. Okay, here. So I just need... Oh! So you go to Falgor Float. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll see you there. Now, something I've been curious of, because I was just at a loading screen that said, The Black Shroud, North Shroud. My curiosity is, why is it called the Black Shroud? That doesn't seem to represent the the environment for a place that's all about you know their their greenery their um their nature to call it the black shroud just seems so well dark um i don't know if anyone knows the the lore behind the name of the black shroud i would personally love to know it also i love our black mage look oh we're going to a new area by the way folks that we've never been Say bye bye to the greenery. Corthus, the Corthus Central Islands. <gasps> Welcome to Skyrim. Just kidding. Uh, but we need to go here. Eye of the Dragon. I'm tempted to go up here to Camp Dragonhead as well, just to get the um the teleport. But we'll see. We'll see where this quest takes us first. Maybe it'll take us up there. I don't know. But welcome to the snowy region of the game. Or perhaps one of the snowy regions. I don't know them all, but... Hi. How are you? That's cool. That's really cool. Um... Oh, I was like, where are they? There they are. So I've never done this quest before, so I'm really excited. Ah, oh, you must be the virtue of whom your Wayne sent word. Greetings and well met. I am Sir Albert Bell, Knight of Ishgard. The Holy See is much obliged to your aid. Time being of the essence, I shall proceed straight to the heart of the matter. The eye and Ishgardian relic of immeasurable worth has been stolen, and we have reason to believe the culprit may come this way. Has come this way, so it is time that we ask your assistance in its recovery. Why do you need my help? Is that dragon on a bone? The thief has been identified as a man named Ein. Estenin, a dragon sworn to the service of the Holy See. Aye, you heard true. The crime was perpetrated by one of our own. An individual in a... Uh, oh, Dragoon. An individual in a position of trust and no little honor. You may be assured that the fate of worse than death await him upon his capture. My duties to the sea afford me little opportunity to travel far beyond the walls of Ishgard. I must confess to a grave ignorance of recent Gridanian affairs. Okay. I was told this century by the name of uh, Lodonel might be of knowledge of routes off taken by the Ishgardian fugitives. I would prefer I would prefer to keep my identity a secret, and thus would have you gather the information you can from from the man. We must act quickly, for you see, Estinian is. But I've already said too much. What matters is that we find the thief and the eye with all haste. When last sighted, and says, whatever his name was, was clad in black armor. Now go and speak no word of what you have told anyone. Um, I assume it's your brother because you didn't want to like I hate our shorts. I hate them. Oh my god. I Can't do it anymore. I'm there. I'm weaker now. I don't care. Do not care Can't stand it. What, what am I doing over here? Okay Dink, dink, dink. Oh literally right here awesome Route's favorite in Ishgardian fugitives? Now that's a question I don't hear every day. You aren't plotting some unsavory act yourself, are you? Even if you were, I doubt you'd make it far. Any road, we've got a few fleeing the North Shroud, uh, to North Shroud. With what with Gridania being home of nearly as many elves in as Ishgard, it's not easy task to identify outsiders. If you're on the hunt for someone, you could do worse than to visit the Florental Spire in the North Shroud and speak with a man named Idriston. If any suspicious persons have crossed the border in recent days, he'd be the first to know. Okay. Is that... Yeah, right where we came in. So I'm just going to run back. <gasps> Wait. Oh, well. I was going to get up. No, I'm going to get on that. I love the Ar... Ar... Arman Man. Arman. It seems slower. I don't think it is. But it does feel slower. Um, But it's got great music. I like, just listen. just lovely it's just lovely 
This has been my favorite mount since I got it way back in A Realm Reborn. I love how it's, you know, these Gobu have snow on them. So it shows that they've actually kind of, you know, are in this environment. It's not just, oh yeah, it's the same one as before. Have fun. Please invite, oh, is Behemoth up? Yeah, the Behemoth face must be up. I think that might be how you get the Behemoth mount, but could be wrong. Could be wrong. No, I don't. Oh, no, it's my level. I don't want to do your fate right now. I have a quest to do. <laughs> Hey, Elevator, yes, I'm the one tasked with monitoring those who would enter the lands by way of Korthos. Hmm? Nish Guardian Knight clad in black armor. No, I recall nothing of the sword, and such a striking visitor would be difficult to forget. My apologies, friend. I can only suggest that you return to the Logan Drell and... Logan Drell? Loge Denrel and see if he has any other theories. Are you serious? Are you serious? I have to go back? There is kind of a lot of back and forth. Um, I'll just see you guys there. All right, here we are back in um, this place. I have a feeling this guy just lied to us. First, that's a really long name. That's a really long name. I'm not reading it all. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this guy lied to us, to be honest. Oh, that seems logical. No luck, you say. Most curious. Why it is not impossible that a fugitive would make it this far without being inspired from Florence Spire? Which leaves the possibility that your man is still in Ishgard. It runs counter to good sense. Would the fugitive not want to put a distance of grounds between his and his pursuers? But by the process of deduction, it is a possibility. He climbs the, the climbs of Ishgard are not kind to drafters and vagabonds. That said, there's been talk of curious smoke wafting from a cave east of here at night. Were I you, I might begin my search there. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I don't know why I thought he was lying to us. Um, I just didn't really fully... I think I didn't grasp everything we're doing. <gasps> Ooh, I saw this in the distance, and I was like, I want to go there, and I get to. That is just such a pretty sight. The nice, like, foggy blue through the cliff. Ooh, Ixel. Ixali. Wild Talon. Ooh, are you a... You're a... Oh, you know, screw it. Yeah, let's fight him. Let's fight him. What's this do again? Yeah, whatever. Makes me stronger by, like, 20%, I think. Got him. Is that a twin adder one? Oh, that was that was it. What? That was it? No way. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, they only want me to kill one. They only want oh they only wanted me to kill one. Okay. Hostile presence. What are Terrick matrons? Ow, matron. Well, this is gonna hurt, sir. Kaplowy! 295 damage. Stunned. Sit down. Uh, some kind of clues I'll get, maybe? Look up if he's a dragoon. Boom, snailed it. That Ishgard would resort to sending coin starred adventures after me. I know not whether to laugh or to feel insulted. The, the eye, it, it rouses for another? Am I chosen? Am I a dra <gasps> Like Legend of Dragoon. Preposterous! Our path shall cross again. You can be sure of it. Oh, I want to do that. I want to do that so badly. I want the jump skill. And I want to have AoE potential because I'm tired of not having AoE. Um. Okay, that's... So that, that's got Legend of Dragoon vibes all over. Because in Legend of Dragoon, you know, when you turn into, like, an actual Dragoon, like, warrior. If you haven't played the game, these stones react to you. They're, they impart kind of an essence of the dragon. And you get, like, wings and spells and it's really cool played if you haven't uh but also have a let's play of it so check it out though i go through a depression halfway through so i mean that part's fine because now that what happened was it made like a, a gap between episodes but obviously it's all done now but yes um 
great game, and but the stones react to individuals that are worthy. A dragoon clad in black, you say? Tell me all that transpired. Well, you see, this stone was like, what? And he was like, you? By the fury that the eye would choose another. And had not thought it possible. In light of recent events, it would seem an explanation is in order. The eye is no ordinary relic. It harvests the power of the dragon, which it bestows upon a single chosen soul, the strongest and wisest dragoon. He who is chosen is possessed of the power to fight the mortal foe, the dragon of Dravania, on equal footing, soaring the firmament of all that were extension of the land. That man is known as the Azure Dragoon. Is it me? Is it me? Can that be me? The Azure Dragoon is the light of hope for all its guardians and the paragon of all dragoons. I also just realized it's not a self-advancing text, so I can take my time. For this reason, you may imagine how it pains me to have to confess that you may that the man you encountered, the thief, is none other than, uh, none other than the Azure Dragon, and that I was once his teacher. Needless to say, I acknowledge myself accountable for Estinian's Estinian, yeah, Estinian's misdeeds, and means to do all my power to find and recover the Eye. But I cannot do this alone. I require your help, Solchris. You who have received the power of the dragon. You may labor to believe it, but there can be no mistake. The soul of the dragoon I bear glows to your presence, irrefutable proof that you are chosen. What I can ill explain, however, is the why of it. Oh what, you don't have Lalafell's dragoons? Number four in Ishgar's long history has the eye roused to more than one individual in a single generation, but it avails us not to cudgel our brains about it. The fact of the matter is that you are now a vessel for the power of the dragon. The dragon lies yet in slumber, however, and you must needs possess the means to wake it, the soul of the dragoon. I would trust you with mine, Solker. What? Like Astinian, I once ruled the skies as the Azure Dragon, although that power has since become lost to me. It was simple by force of habit it was simply by force of habit that I have uh, hitherto kept the soul upon my person. I have no inkling as to why the eye has seen fit to choose a second, and an outsider at that. Yet one thing is clear, none can challenge the Azure Dragoon and conceivably prevail, save another Azure Dragoon. You are our only hope of bringing Instanian uh, to justice and reclaiming the Eye. Of course, I did not ask that you do this unaided. I may be a Dragoon no more, but what knowledge I have, I shall gladly impart to you. For indeed, when the time comes, you must face the Azure Dragoon. Not less than the complete mastery over the power of the Dragon can, will avail you. But the perilous road lies ahead of you, I shall not deny. Knowing this, if you would le still lend me your lance, I will teach you to harness the power that has chosen you. Go forth, my young dragoon, and rouse the dragon within. I look forward to your return. Nice! Alrighty, folks. We can now be a dragoon. I like how the soul of a thing is like part of the story, the whole stone. Dragoon unlocked! The inner dragon grows strong. Alrighty. So. Oh, let me talk to you and... yeah. Oh, wait, no, that was a mistake. Okay, so. What you do is you come in here at the bottom right, soul crystal. You can have all kinds of jobs. This is the dragoon. Not a whole lot changes except our stats do. Check this out. Strength, 139. 149. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But even bigger. Aw, oh, you screwed up my thing. We get jump. Deliver a jumping attack with a potency of 310. Returns you to the original position after the attack is made. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. And then I'll rejig my my uh, thing. I'm probably going to want to change it now, to be honest. But let's go see how this looks. Let's go find something to poke in the face. I think we could take you on, right? What level are you? Ooh, 35. Let's fight just one thing. How about that? Just one. Woo! Wait, what did they do to my stuff? Ugh, this is gross. Where's my stun? I don't even know where my stun's at. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool, not gonna lie. Pretty stoked about that. Jump looks radical. Oh, I almost died? Holy crap! Uh, that. 
So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of this episode. We will now do Come in Peace, so I will meet you back next episode at, um, at the docks. But thank you so much for watching, folks. We finally got our Dragoon unlocked, and I couldn't be more excited. Thank you so much for watching. Do take care of yourselves, but until next time, bye-bye for now.